Huawei has quietly snuck out the Watch Fit Mini, a smaller version of its fitness tracker and smartwatch hybrid, which first launched back in 2020. Features-wise, they support for up to 96 workout modes, the ability to track sleep, daily activity and stress, and support for 24 per 7 continuous SpO2 monitoring. Women can track menstrual cycles from the watch and the companion Huawei Health app. In terms of sensors, you're getting a 6-axis IMU sensor to track movement and an optical heart rate monitor to track heart rate continuously and during exercise. There's no GPS support whatsoever to accurately track outdoor activities, but it does match the 5 ATM water resistance rating you get on the pricier fit. Precisely, we like the watch fit active and elegant since now comes a fit mini that we give you our opinion below but that is basically a shape change from the ones mentioned above. That said, let's go with the review of the Huawei Watch Fit Mini. The appearance lines are identical to that of the elegant and active, but with a screen that appears longer due to being trimmed down a bit in width. This makes the watch more suitable for slimmer or thinner wrists, as previous models can be a bit large for some people. In fact, I like this Huawei decision, because smartwatches have left that user profile a little aside. The case is aluminum, and I think they have listened to the reviewers, as they have changed the way we can exchange the strap. First of all, it is a quite elegant leather strap, but it also has a more conventional pin. It is not the standard size, but of course the customization options are greater than with the previous system. The lower part is made of plastic, and the screen is another of the strong points of the model both for custom customization, and for its quality. It's an emol panel, that certainly looks good in all situations thanks to a good level of gloss and excellent color depth. I miss an automatic brightness sensor, but hey, we have an automatism, to lower the brightness at night, a do not disturb mode, screen mode always on in many spheres. It has a good sensitivity and a curved shape both on the edges, and in the rest of the dome. This makes swiping nice, but also contributes to that premium look and feel. And, obviously, it is a touch panel, but we also have a button to activate the watch. A double touch on the screen, is not worth it, but we can cover it with the palm of the hand to turn it off. That has the name of Huawei recorded. I love the appearance in the screen, but I also think the system is really good for the price we are going to pay. We are not going to go too deep into this topic because it is, again, identical to what we saw in the extensive analysis of the other two watch fit. We have the same monitoring of 96 sports than in his brothers with some very common, and other sports, that are much more minority, but they are there. We can select them directly from the watch, and the data seems accurate to me. I miss that it has no GPS, since that way it doesn't drag the phone and its battery. But well, I don't think it's something that conditions my opinion of the device either because, anyway, with this type of device we need to leave the house yes or yes with the mobile in the pocket. What I like the most is that in the mobile app we have a section that encourages us to meet certain objectives day by day both movement and hydration or sleep. In short, they are good habits, it explains what the score or percentage it shows is based on, and, once again, the Huawei app seems to me to be one of the best on the market in this regard. Although in smartwatches things have gotten worse, from a huge battery life of the first generation of the watch, to a more normal battery life among smartwatches with the Watch 3, in the Watch Fit range, the truth is that the Chinese company it is still one of the best in this segment. Huawei promises a battery life of 2 weeks, 14 days, in the Watch Fit Mini, and, to be honest, when I found out, it seemed like a lot to me considering, that the space for the battery was going to be less in this model. However, includes the same 180 mAh battery than his brothers do. Oh well, in numbers this translates to about 7 days with all features active, notifications, time, rays to activate and pulse meter, sleep and SpO2 at all times. In the end, the truth is that the Huawei Watch Fit Mini is a smart bracelet or trim smartwatch that, on a day-to-day -day basis, shows itself not only as solid, but as a high Highly recommended option for users who want to have notifications and some health data, but they do not need to answer phone calls or messages. The screen seems small, but the truth is that it is enough to see that a notification has arrived on your mobile, to see the details of the exercise, the time, the heart rate, and, of course, the time. The quality of the wall panel is spectacular and it looks great in all situations, even in bright light. We do not have automatic brightness, which I would have liked, but the contrast and depth of colors is impressive. The materials are also convincing, and are exactly the same as those of the Watch Fit Active, being a very premium device in this sense, and with a better strap management system thanks to a small pin, but more universal than the one its brothers have. The Huawei Watch Fit Mini is a smartwatch for people with very thin wrists. It has a steel case, and is tremendously elegant thanks to its leather strap, but it does not forget the most athletic users, and it has a continuous blood oxygen sensor, as well as a heart rate monitor. And the good thing is that it is valid both for more athletic users, and for those who simply want a smartwatch, and you don't want a more complete smartwatch with which to answer calls and messages. I hope this review was helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and see you soon.